How's it going, everybody? It's Prod here, and today I am bringing you guys a DLC wishlist video for the upcoming DLCs of Dark Souls 3. Now, this isn't pertaining a specific DLC. This can be in either DLC 1 or DLC 2, because we're going to be getting two DLCs. Definitely, definitely let me know what are some of the things on your wish list for any of the DLCs, because today I have a couple things. I don't know how long I'm going to make this video. I don't want it to be too long, so we'll get right into it with my number one and this is the only one that's kind of uh ranked i guess the other ones are kind of just in random order but this is for sure my number one arena in dark souls 3 would be really awesome uh dark souls 2 had arena and that was basically what i played more than actual just being in a fight club i found it a lot more fun because playing in the same spot over and over and over can get very boring and if you have arena to kind of mix things up make it a bit more competitive uh, because i definitely found myself having more intense matches and becoming a better player whenever i played arena in dark souls 2 rather than just getting summoned into a fight club or hosting a fight club myself and i definitely think that arena itself would be a welcome thing into dark souls 3 although i'm assuming there would have to be some better patching of weapons some better distribution of damage among some of the weapon classes Definitely, definitely, that's something that would have to change if Arena, this competitive game mode, comes into Dark Souls 3. Uh, but definitely, Arena would be at the top of my list. And the next two are kind of together, I guess I would say. But I would love, love, and I think it would be awesome to have dragon armor, dragon scale related armor, any type of dragon related armor in Dark Souls 3. Uh, we have pretty much the only thing I could think of is the dragon scale waist cloth, which is the Nameless King's waist cloth. But I think it's very shitty. I think it looks very shitty. Or I think it looks cool, but it doesn't really fit well. I don't like using it because it doesn't have any type of pants. It's just your floor. It's just no shoes. And then it's just no shoes and it's your feet. And then that's it. And I feel like it doesn't really fit in too well with uh, with uh, fashion soles that you could do. I don't think it's something that a lot of people use just for that. Uh, I think it would be cool to have some type of dragon armor the way we see it in Skyrim. Uh, and it, again, dragon weapons along with dragon armors, more dragon uh, related weapons coming from their souls. Now, I know Dark Souls 3, there's not really a lot of dragons. It seems like most of the dragons are already dead. But there's a bunch of dragons laying around. Take some of their fucking bones, make yourself a sharp dagger, make yourself a sharp sword, and give us that. You know, I think dragon armor and dragon weapons would be something that a lot of people would love to see. And I really don't know, and nobody really knows at the moment, where we will go for the Dark Souls 3 DLC, either of them. So, you know, that's definitely something that could be a possibility. Uh, but next up, we have something, I guess, more related to the story. Not really something that I believe will happen. Although, this is a wish list, something that I hope would be fucking cool and I would wish that would happen. And that would be to connect the story of Dark Souls 3 to Bloodborne. I would love, like, imagine how cool it was to link those universes and somehow find out that Bloodborne is actually the Age of Mana. And that's what happens way in the future. Maybe this Age of the Deep that we've been seeing a lot of mentions of in Dark Souls 3 uh, is actual lore. Imagine that's something related to Bloodborne and especially the Bloodborne DLC, The Old Hunters. That'd be fucking cool, man. I think honestly linking those two games would be something that they, they would do that would be really cool. But I honestly don't know if they would be allowed to do that considering it's a property of Sony rather than a property of like From Software just by themselves or Bandai Namco, you know? But that would be something I think would be very, very cool. Uh, along with just regular just seeing what this Age of the Deep means. I hope that since we got some tease of this new age, that we actually get to see it in one of the DLCs. But I definitely do think that that's going to be at least touched upon or we're going to see something related to that in the Dark Souls 3 DLC. Either of them, definitely. Even though I do think this next one is a little bit less likely than the Age of the Deep one, I do think there is still a chance that we might see a little bit more about this. And that is to find out something about the past of the Nameless King. Uh, we got a little bit of actual lore from Vadi's video. Uh, I know I did at least that some stuff that I didn't know about completely like that his past is like a complete secret and nobody really knows anything about his past like at all. And I would love to find out something more about his past. I think that would be really cool for them to touch upon something like that. And we know that they could do that because I feel like they have free reign to go anywhere uh, that they want for these two DLCs. And we already know these two DLCs are going to be fucking huge. And uh, another one that I know a lot of people want this one, and that is some type of Ash 
that lets you buy embers. Like, I, I don't understand why we can't do that. How is it that we cannot just buy embers and have unlimited amount of embers? That would completely take out a huge part of the game, I know, doing co-op and stuff like that. But people who do co-op and enjoy co-op are gonna do it either way. And along with that, I honestly think having a feature, even though this one is probably not gonna happen, but having a feature that actually allows you to choose if you want to get invaded or not after you defeat a boss, because if you know in Dark Souls 3, after you defeat the main boss of an area, you basically can't get invaded anymore. I would love to turn that off and on, have the ability to turn that off and on in all these areas because invasions are really slow, man. And uh, most of the invasions now that you get into are people who want to get invaded because they have a couple buddies in there with them and are ready to kill you and gang up on you. But definitely they, there are a couple more things that I do have here. I might make a second video in the future. If you guys want to see that, definitely leave a like on this video. But most importantly, make sure you guys go ahead and leave in the comments what are some things that are on your wish list because I would love to hear about that and it will definitely give me inspiration for uh, more stuff to put on my list. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys later. Peace, everybody. Thank you.